Yes, we already went back to Sam's Club. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul. We did go back to Sam's Club today, spent about $100 and got some things that we absolutely needed, some things that I didn't need in our last haul, but I need it now, you know, struggle's real. And we also did the Whole Foods curbside pickup. I am loving the Whole Foods Amazon Prime app thing and I can just roll up to Whole Foods, five seconds is in my car. It is a much better experience than Walmart. No shade to Walmart, cause y'all know I've been going there multiple times, but I'm just loving their service so much. That's why I'm using them. And if you compare Whole Foods to the Walmart app, most of the stuff at Whole Foods is the same price and better ingredient stuff. So definitely compare and get the better options and save those pennies where you can. So let me take you down to the counter and show you what we got at Sam's Club for the week and also our Whole Foods curbside. $99 quick Sam's Club haul. We actually went in. I have not been in club since before Everything went down March 13th, so it was nice to look around on my IG and everything. I did a couple of reels with some new items. So the fully cooked Angus Choice Quick and Eat Burgers, if you've watched my Sam's Club hauls for a while now, we used to haul these all the time. Prices will be popping up for these. We love these, and I've been getting the turkey burgers, and my husband is burnt out. He's like, I need beef in my life again. I'm tired of this damn turkey. And I kind of feel him, uh, so I might partake in these as well. But they're pretty clean, guys, as far as ingredients. They do have natural flavors, so if you're against that, then you're not going to want to get these. But it's just beef, water, spices, salt, and natural flavorings. 21 grams of fat, 24 protein, 280 in calories, and zero carbs. Heck to the yes. So I'm all about this life. I put them actually under the broiler and they are delicious. They really do taste like flame grilled, like it says, and so good. They're already fully cooked. These would be great on the Blackstone too, just to cook up. So I got those per request for the hubs. I got some chicken thighs. Now, the reason why I got chicken thighs, I've been getting the boneless ones, boneless skinless ones from Imperfect Foods, and I love them, but I cannot find organic chicken thighs that have skin on them. Y'all let me know down below if that's just a thing. But I have a lot of recipes for like crispy skin chicken thighs and you gotta have the skin, y'all. I mean, it's all about that fat life, right? So these are 92 cents a pound at my Sam's Club always, but I can't get them on the app when I do the pickup. You have to go in club to get these. I don't know, it's still weird. $5.34 for almost six pounds of chicken thighs. Sign me up. Speaking of chicken, I got chicken wasted with the wings. Now these were like $24, but it's 10 pounds. So they're pretty comparable to the ones that you can get from Walmart. I think they're like, I don't know, $20 for maybe eight pounds. These fluctuate between 20 to $24. I've seen them go back and forth in price, especially with all the craziness going on. These do have the flats and the drumettes in there. Again, 10 pounds. I'm all about those wings. I have an easy wing recipe in my e-cookbook that's linked down below if you wanna check it out. And we are having wings on the meal plan this week. Bananas, they are so cheap up at the Sam's Club. So I got a thing of bananas and me and Waylon have been going through them. I use these on my carb up days, about two for me and the rest of them are for Weiwei. Y'all know he flies through them. Y'all, I, I wish they wouldn't have done that limit of four when these were like $4 and some change because my kids ate the four limit already and I bought them for Trey for when he started school, but that was like a month ago. He actually starts school after Labor Day for the staggered day and then the next week he'll go full time, second grade. I cannot believe it. We met his teacher the other day. It's going to be an amazing year, but I know he loves these and their snacks have to be pre-packaged stuff. They're, listen to this, their lunch can be in like Ziploc bags and loose PB&Js and stuff like that, but breakfast and any snacks throughout the day have to be pre-packaged. That makes zero sense, but we're following the rules. So I know he loves these and they're a good source of protein. So, I mean, they might, might not be the best of the best ingredients, but they are good in my book for my kids and both of them love both of those flavors. They also, just by the way, love the Siete Ranch and also the cheese ones that I hauled in my Thrive Market haul and they are next class ingredients from Whole Foods and Thrive, so check those out. Speaking of good ingredients are the RX Bars Kids. You get 10 of the chocolate chip, 10 of the strawberries. So excited that my in club now has these and they were 20 bars and I'll pop up the price, but I also submitted $3 to Ibotta so that it made it for a killer deal. It's as far as ingredients go, they are so clean for your kids. It's just dates, oats, egg whites, coconut oil, chocolate, natural flavors, and eggs. And the same thing for the strawberry one, basically. It does have natural flavorings, but guys, I am not gonna like harp about that. If it doesn't have like the bad oils and stuff like that, hell's to the yes for my kids. And I know Trey loves both of these flavors. So that was a killer deal. I had to get that for school starting. I just hauled 
two of these. Y'all know if you watched my monthly Sam's Club haul, but oh my gosh, Trey went through a whole box already. He eats like probably three of these a day as far as for breakfast and then snack and all that good stuff. And again, I would rather him come and bring me this than any other type of chip or anything any day. Yes to the fruit always. So I got another one of these. These are sweetened with monk fruit and stevia. Really good option for your kids. And they are at Sam's Club now and thankful because they're so expensive in Walmart. So that is everything we got at Sam's Club for a little run in basically for some chicken. Oh, and we forgot the paper towel drama. Oh my gosh, $99 y'all. I cannot stand Bounty and I cannot stand name brand toilet paper. I love the Members Mark paper towels and toilet paper so much better, but my club has been out of Members Mark paper towels since March 13th and they haven't gotten them back. You can't get them online. You can't go in store and get them. They only had a few of these and it was a limit of one per club member, okay? So I was just happy to get this because I was down to one roll, but these are legit $20. The members mark are 16 and in my opinion, they're so much better. Y'all let me know down below. Are you pro members mark paper towels, toilet paper, or if you're a Costco watcher, I know a lot of y'all like the Costco brand. Are you pro like non-brand are you pro bounty and the name brand i am ready for this to be done because i like the other ones better it's really not even about price it's about liking the other product better Ugh. So that was a little drama today, but we at least got some paper towels because the girl had none. It's curbside pickup. I ran into Walmart to get a couple of things Whole Foods was out of. I do have an Imperfect Foods order coming in on Tuesday, so make sure to follow me on IG to see what I've got coming from Imperfect Foods. And we still got that $20 off your first order link down below. Don't forget about that. So I got some organic strawberries. None of the berries were on sale this week. I've been going off whatever was on the Prime deal. So these were $4.99. I went ahead and picked those up and they look really good. The Dates Killer Bread products are all on a Prime deal. So these were $3 and some change, which is cheaper than Walmart and Sam's Club. So I got the Cinnamon Raisin Remix for the boys. They really like these. They haven't been eating them that often. We've been doing PB&J on some better bread, but this is nice to have for a lunch option every once in a while. I did get some roast beef. Now now this is Italian roast beef and y'all can look at the ingredients when you are looking on the app and the ingredients looked pretty good on this one. It does have olive oil and stuff. Some of the other ones had like canola oil and some bad ones. So you definitely want to check. I got half a pound to, and look how, look how yummy that looks. I'm um, hex to the yes with all that Italian goodness in there. I'm excited about that. I'm gonna be making some roll-ups with these egg thins right here and adding a little bit of that chipotle lime mayo from Primal Kitchen. It's going to be delicious, cannot wait. So I did get some more carpinis. I have some that are in the freezer. These are pricey at Whole Foods and Rouse's. Check your Costco if you're a Costco member. I know they sell them there for a really killer deal. If you're not familiar with carpinis, they're literally nothingness. It's basically just a vessel. So it's eight calories per little carpini and one gram of protein. There are the ingredients if you want to screenshot them, but they're super clean and worth the money in my opinion. I did get some shredded lettuce. We're gonna be doing some nachos on Tuesday for Taco Tuesday. Got some shaved Brussels sprouts by the 365 brand. I really like these. However, my picker didn't do that great of a job because they look like they're about to uh, not be the best, but we're gonna eat them up throughout the week and we're gonna cook them down anyway, so it'll be fine. But I like the shaved ones already done and it's a great price over there at Whole Foods. Uncured pepperoni, I got this one versus the Applegate brand. I know a lot of y'all are gonna be asking why I didn't get the turkey Applegate ones. These, in my opinion, were a little bit better as far as ingredients go. So I opted for this one versus the Applegate one, honestly. So check the ingredients and compare because just because some brands are like really awesome that we know of doesn't mean that they don't have some products that aren't the best. So I got this one instead of the turkey pepperoni. Coco Yo is amazing. If you're dairy free and looking for a good yogurt option, I know a lot of y'all hate the Kite Hill. I've only been buying the Kite Hill because it's been on an amazing Ibotta deal and been getting it really cheap. But this Coco Yo is awesome. It's expensive, so is the Kalina, but so worth it. And I went ahead and got the vanilla. So as far as macros go, a serving size, which is half of this container, is eight net carbs, one gram of protein, and six gram of fat. I got this for my carb up days. So not for my regular keto days, but for my carb up days, because I was looking for something that was a little bit higher in carb, but low in protein and fat for a yogurt. I got some more of the Siete Cashew Queso Spicy Blanco. This is on a prime deal right now. I have some, but I'm gonna be eating it almost every day, and I knew I needed to get some more. Siete has amazing ingredients if you are not familiar with them, guys, and this is one net carb, 
for two tablespoons. I mean, that is amazing. And I can tell you this stuff tastes really good. They also have like a regular cheese version I have not tried. And this one you can find in the refrigerated section. This is a hidden gem at Whole Foods I feel like people are not raving about or don't know about. And this is the Whole Foods 365 pilaf style rice cauliflower with garlic, herb, and extra virgin olive oil. This stuff is amazing, guys. It is so good. It is one cup for three net carbs and it is just basically what I said on the front and it's all good stuff in there and it tastes amazing. You only need to add a little salt and you're done and it's $2.99 a bag. The Green Giant at Walmart is almost $4 at mine and I feel like you have to doctor it up something fierce. These you do not. So highly recommend. This is something I feel people are not talking about. For your kids, I highly suggest these organic 365 shoestring free french fries. They have the other ones as well and the tater tots. Both of the boys are loving them. I bought them last week for the first time just to give them a try. And these don't have like nasty oils and stuff in them. That's your regular versions do if you're not getting organic. Really good and really cheap. I think $2 and some change a bag. So to get a good source of potato in them, I'm opting for that. Now, this was some controversy last week, and I want to show you guys because I just saw the same thing. So these are the ones I bought last week, and these have one net carb because they have a new formulation, and this is the new formulation. They must have had some old stock of the old one because the same exact box, y'all see these look identical, the same exact box, this one is the old formulation, and it is four net carbs a bar, which is still not terrible, but I would rather like the new formulation with the one net carb. So check these because they are switching the recipes okay so it says new delicious recipe on this box does not say it on the old one so make sure that you check to get the one that has the new macros on it versus the old one because it makes a difference of course i got some more of my bragg's organic apple cider vinegar drink this is a ginger spice this one has zero carbs the limeade has one they have a grape and another one that is carbier if you're doing a carb up day but i got these to go on my week-long runs when i'm doing my strict keto i did get some diced fire roasted medium green chilies to go in a recipe this week this brand is really good and it is organic organic so I opted for it and it's really reasonably priced at Whole Foods. Now y'all know I've been buying the Celestial Teas at Walmart, the mixed flavor ones for the boys and adding a little bit of Lakanto golden monk fruit and calling it a day and that's better than the stir we were doing and it saves you money in the long run too. All their Celestial Teas are on a prime deal until the 15th I'm pretty sure and I got the 20 pack of the Country Peach Passion because that came in the variety pack and they like that one so we opted for it. They didn't have the variety pack at Whole Foods or I would have got it but it was cheaper there than at Walmart. Now this is a cracker the boys love and since Trey's going back to school I'm needing some more lunchbox options for him. So this is the organic 365 mini sandwich peanut butter crackers. They also have the cheese and they also have the individually wrapped bags which I'm going to get the next week because he has to have individually wrapped bags for snack and for breakfast and they love these. So these are definitely better than the Ritz. If you're if your kids like the Ritz kind, these are better as far as what they're made with, the organic wheat, the oils, expeller pressed, all that good stuff. Is it the best of the best? No, but kids are going to eat certain things and this is a better option. So it's $2.99 a box and it's cheap for the wrapped ones too. Speaking of Siete, I love when they come out with their six grain free like back to school package thing because I do pack Trey's keto queso once a week for him as a treat and he loves these to dip it in and the quest chips y'all saw earlier so always look for the sietes on a prime deal don't buy them full price necessarily because they are pricey but this was on a prime deal so for six bags it was six dollars so it came out to be like a dollar a bag which isn't bad in my opinion Walmart we ran in real quick because Whole Foods was out of bananas what is our life so I picked up a couple of bananas also picked up some honey crisp apples we haven't had those yet and i'm looking forward to trying those on my carb up days walmart didn't have any of the frozen asparagus that's the kind i like and i opted just for fresh so i got a bundle of that for myself Trey needed some white American cheese for his keto queso I was just talking about, and I was buying it at Whole Foods, but they were out of the white. They only had the yellow. So what I like about the Walmart right now is like my Rouse's, they do pre-cut cheeses and meats right now. So they had two of the white American cheese already cut up and ready to go, and they had exactly two. So I snagged them up because that was the poundage I needed for his keto queso. Now something new, y'all have not seen me haul, are these Bake Believe white, no sugar added, 
baking chips. Y'all been telling me that Walmart has the Bake Believe products. My store is just now getting the chips and they have the bars. So the white ones are actually zero net carb because it's 10 total carbs, three fiber, and seven grams of your sugar alcohols. There's the ingredients right there if you're interested. But I got these to go on top of some pumpkin pancakes I'm gonna be making this week. And I wanted to give these a shot versus Lily's because in my opinion, these ingredients look a little bit better and the list is a little bit less than the Lily's. And the Lily's has changed their formulation just a little bit. So we're gonna give this a shot. Y'all let me know down below if you have found though the Lily's pumpkin spice chips. I see everybody hauling on Instagram. I can't find them. It's everything we went and ran for for Walmart and at Whole Foods for our curbside pickup this meal plan for September 7th through the 13th. So Monday we had Brenner, which is breakfast for dinner, and we did the biscuits and gravy from the Southern Keto Cookbook. And I did dairy free fi that. It was super easy with asparagus and fried eggs on the side. Tonight, Taco Tuesday, when I'm filming this, we're gonna be having pork rind nachos. So I'm just gonna fry up some ground beef and put it over some pork rinds with some dairy free toppings for myself. And then the hubs will do cheese on his. Wednesday, I'm doing wings. Y'all know I love wings and they're so simple to do. I have a easy wing recipe in my e-cookbook that is always linked down below for you guys to check it out and some smothered green beans on the side and some avocado. Thursday, I'm making a new recipe, which is chipotle pork chops. It looks delicious with some broccoli and avocado. Friday, I have not had a keto pizza with cheese in 40 days, or probably more than that when doing dairy-free. So I'm going to treat myself and have a keto pizza that we're gonna make homemade, but I'm gonna use some fresh mozzarella and some Romano cheese on top of mine with a side salad. Saturday is always our clean out the fridge night, so anything we have left over, we eat up. And Sunday is my cyclical keto carb up day, so I'm making blackened chicken tacos with the Siete almond flour tortillas, and then Whole Foods has a mango pineapple salsa I wanna try. I thought that'd be really good, and that's gonna be my dinner for my carb up day. Breakfast, I'm doing pumpkin pancakes, which I did today, and they were okay. Uh, not the best, but they will do. Crepes I've made before in the past and showed you guys with the carpini wrap, so I'm gonna be making those again because we haven't had them in forever with eggs and bacon on the side. Lunch, I'm making it super basic and simple with some no sugar kielbasa I got from Imperfect Foods that I've already fried up and prepped. And we're going to put that on top of some Brussels sprouts, some shaved Brussels sprouts from Whole Foods with a fried egg. Call it a day, delicious. Dump and go in a bowl, love it. Roast beef roll-ups, again with the carpini wraps, I'm just gonna take some roast beef, roll it up with some of that Siete queso blanco. That's gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna eat some of those Hue crackers. Have y'all heard about the Hue brand? They make chocolates and crackers. They are keto friendly if you can fit it in your macros and the ingredients are phenomenal. So I'm going to fit some crackers in my life with some of that hope hummus on the side of my roast beef roll-ups. Snack options, granola bars. I still have leftover that I made. That's in my eat cookbook as well. Beef sticks, some nut butter packets, or my Reese's protein shake I am loving so much. I have that in the meal plan like three days this week. It is amazing. That's the meal plan, September 7th through the 13th. All right, y'all, so that is my weekly grocery haul and meal plan this week. Y'all give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these videos every week here on my channel. Y'all let me know what's on your meal plan. I need some inspiration too. I like the Pinterest helps out a girl, but I like to know what you guys are eating out there and your keto, your low carb, your Weight Watchers journey. Y'all let me know down below what's on the meal plan this week or what you're thinking about putting on the meal plan soon that you've been craving. I'm curious to know. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you found me. Make sure to hit all the bells and whistles before you leave so you're notified every time I upload a new video here on my channel. Y'all have an awesome day and amazing week and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.